Today we're eating Japanese conveyor belt sushi after not eating for 24 hours. We are very hungry and ready for a massive meal. Perfect, thanks so much. Something that's super cool about this place is it feels like you're in Japan. And I'm so hungry too, so. Oh my gosh. We have to like hurry up here. Like after not eating for 24 hours, I have never done that before. There's not one, but two conveyor belts. There's one that's like the normal train where all the sushis are. And the other, that's the express train where you can order stuff with an iPad. And I'm very excited to see what we are gonna order next because I've heard the menu here is really big. So in Japan, these sushi plates are all $1 and here they're a tiny bit more expensive of around $2. Everything is so efficient from the iPad to the sushi to the minimal human contact we had to be honest. You're probably wondering, how do you know how much you need to pay after eating at sushi conveyor belt? Well, it's really easy. You just need to count the plates you've eaten and then that's all. All the plates come at the same cost so you know how much you've eaten and how much you will pay after before we get to the best part which is eating <laughs> and I'm, I'm excited for that. Very quick table tour here. We're gonna eat a lot. <laughs> We are seated in a booth, which is fully private. You don't see anyone else. And that's maybe the main thing you notice here is there is almost no human contact, only machines and robots. <laughs> However, there was an actual human being who came and brought us some soy sauce, some wasabi, and some ginger. And honestly, for me, this is one of the coolest tables I've ever seen. Over here, you have a plate slot where you put the plates in. And then up here, you have like a toy machine? They count the plates automatically, and there's a game where you win stuff. Like, we'll try that out at the end. So game plan, we are first gonna start with the sushi, and then we'll move on to the rolls. So let's get the salmon, the tuna, yellowtail, eel, and maybe this one, aburi salmon with miso cream cheese. Ooh, that you want one that? looks yeah. delicious. Cool. <laughs> Mommy oiled sear beef, yes please. Yeah. Here they tell you the arrival time, that's so cool. Oh, should we get the shrimp? Oh my god. Oh, it's there. Oh God. God. Get, the get the shrimp this so hard. That was stress. That was like just pure suspense right there. One thing about sushi trains is you have to react really fast if you want to eat food. Yay! Wow. Oh, that's so cool. That was so fast. Oh my god. That is so cool. Let the round one commence. Oh my god. Round one. How many plates? Seven plates. This is a pretty big round one. Okay, so which one do you want to start with? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm so excited. I think I'm just going to try the salmon. Yes. Yeah, the salmon is really perfect. It's super fatty. I think the fish to rice ratio is actually quite good. It's spot on. The tuna. Yes. Go for it, buddy. Delicious. Yellow tail. That is epic. So this is super good. Too. Let's finish with the classics and have some shrimp. It's so good. We are stacking up a decent amount of plates here in this hill. Now the moment that we have been waiting for. I feel eel is a most underrated sushi ever because yes. no one ever orders eel, but it's just so good. Umami oil seared beef. That is a lot of beef. Mmm. <gasps> Holy crap. This is so good and there's so much meat on it. And now the one that we have been waiting for. Aburi salmon with miso cream cheese. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, you almost dropped the cream cheese. <laughs> is it the best one? Mm. Yeah, definitely. It's so good. So now let's move on to round two, the rolls. So we'll just order a bunch of rolls from the menu. And I'm very excited because it's a very, very big section. Okay, which rolls do you want, Bobby? Gotta get the spicy crunchy pie. Yes. Oh, curry roll. For sure, curry roll. On this page, I of course have to go with a spicy tuna roll, a classic, but it's so good. We have to have the spicy popcorn shrimp roll. Oh my god, yes. We are just ordering more and more and more. So I think we shall go back to basics and order a, a normal macaroni roll, uh, tuna macaroni roll. Okay, now it's time for the hand rolls and there's so many of them. Okay, which one do you want, Bobby? I really am interested on the spider hand roll. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Oh my God, we, were, we have reached the maximum <laughs> amount of corners. Oh my God. We came here too hungry. <laughs> oh my God, it's here. So now we can finally order more. Spider roll. So now we should get a soy paper roll because I, I'm so excited to try that. So which one should we get? What about spicy salmon crunchy? Oh my god, it's so hard to get. 
Oh, we're getting we so many two at once. Well, oh my gosh, Lucille, wow. what have we done on round this two? This round is next level, so we have 9, 10, 11 plates. I have never seen a spicy taco roll ever before in my life. We are definitely starting with that one. Like, just look at that mound of food. There's like some tempura shrimp on top, then two jalapeno peppers, and under that there is a bunch of sushi rice, avocado, everything is topped with super spicy sauce. <laughs> this is next level. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's already falling. It's so good and so messy. Here, let me help you. Everything's gonna fall. Oh my god. That is the oh craziest sushi roll I have ever eaten. So moving on to something a tiny bit less messy. <laughs> um, These look insane. So this is the spicy popcorn shrimp roll. It's like they're puffed up. Like the, the shrimps are like puffed in like a massive popcorn. Like normally popcorn shrimp is like this little like pebble. And these are like pockets of popcorn shrimp. <laughs> oh my god. It is like perfection. It is so good. Moving on to this one. And it is absolutely jacked up. It is so good. It is so original. I think there's a bunch of crab meat on top in it, a, a lot of mayo. So we both have a Philadelphia roll here. Cream cheese, salmon, deliciousness. The classic. Philadelphia roll is always a good idea. Yeah, 100%. That pile is growing larger and larger. <laughs> so this is the spicy garlic tempura roll. As you can see, it's just a deep fried bowl of sushi, which is a very good concept. Next step, the caterpillar roll. Here, the first thing you see is a bunch of eel and avocado topped with a lot of eel sauce. I want this one next. So in front of us we have the rainbow roll, which has yellowtail, red snapper, tuna, salmon, avocado, and then a bunch of this like spicy mayo. Oh. There's something about a rainbow roll that's just like so freaking good. And let's add to the pot. So next up we have a few classics of sushi restaurants. We have the classic tuna maki and spicy tuna. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my god! We, we officially have the door. Yeah. Next up, we have spider hand roll, which is crab meat, heel sauce, more crab meat, and shrimp mayo. It is so heavy. <laughs> oh my god. What? You ate the whole roll in one bite? I ate the whole thing. When you eat with Bobby, never let him have a bite of your food. Never let him have a bite of your food. Okay, should we do a uh, round three? Next up we have the gunkan rolls, which are basically sushi wrapped in a seaweed with a lot of stuff on top. The premium American base. Oh my gosh. This one, I think it's like fish egg. Should we order it? Yeah, yeah, let's order that. The inari rolls are oh, always so good. Yes, They're yes. like my favorite. Oh my gosh. It's gonna go away. It's gonna go away. <laughs> like, you've taken too long. No sushi for you. <laughs> Let's start with the fish eggs. Yum. I say we go for this one. Yeah, the egg This roll. is so beautiful. <laughs> it's impossible to put in my mouth. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> that was most definitely my favorite one though. This one looks like a freaking steak. <laughs> this is so good. It tastes between a steak and a sushi. It had the steak in there, but then the breadcrumbs. So it was like a crunchy steak. And of course, the tofu skin. Cheers. Cheers. And that's the end of round three. Now, since we accomplished the feat of eating at least 15 plates of sushi, we put all these plates in the slot to maybe win a mystery toy. Okay, let's try it. Let's go. about to hit 15, what will happen? Oh, it looks like a Pokeball. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. Oh, oh my god. What do we get? What, what is it? How do I open that? 
we got some Kura Sushi slash uh, Sonic the Hedgehog tape. It's time to count the plates. So we put all the plates into the machine. We want this really cute Sonic the Hedgehog tape. Our total plate count is 22 plates. To check out, it works exactly the same. You just press a button and that's all. I feel so good now and I, I feel like cool and happy. Perfect amount of food. <laughs> so I want us to give a rating depending on three factors to the experience. The deliciousness of the sushi, the value and the overall vibe. So for deliciousness, the sushi was really, really good. There was variety, fish was very high quality. There was a ton of fish. The fish to rice ratio was perfect. I'd have to go with a solid nine. I'm fully with you on it, so yeah. I'm gonna have to go with a nine as well. Next up is the value. For value, I would say the amount of fish on the rolls was pretty crazy. I remember the spider roll was like literally bursting out with stuff. The quantity of food they give you makes it really worth it. It's a good value. I would say 8 out of 10. Yes, for me value I'd give it a, a 7 as well because you know we're not in Japan so it's not like right. dirt cheap delicious sushi. Last uh, rating criteria is the vibe. The vibe. The vibe. The vibe. The vibe. The vibe. <laughs> On my side I feel it was very very solid. I, I felt like I was in Japan. Yes. This in itself was worth it. Absolutely. Amazing experience. Now Lucille it is time to, to take rest. a nap. Oh, yeah. <laughs>